Hello, it's a wet Thursday here in Ypsilanti, Michigan. We've had some nice rain falling standing in the doorway outside my barn shop. It's good for the garden to get some rain. So it's coming down. Glad to see that. But let's turn around and go back inside and see what's going on in the shop these days. We're going to start with a sheet music cabinet that I've got here. This was sent back to me because uh, some I made this for a client a few years ago and then uh, they moved a year or so ago and when they moved the movers um, tightened one of the legs too tight and they broke it. So they sent it back to me to fix it. You can see the uh, the leg here, the, the, the foot broke off because they put a band on it and tightened it too tight. So I cut the whole thing off, made a new one, and installed it. So there it is on the back. That's the new one. Not sure how good the lighting is, but uh, so this sheet music cabinet is now uh, ready to go back to its owner and that'll ship off on Monday. It's insured. Next thing that's going on here in the shop, you might have seen some of my other posts, uh, this big tabletop made out of white oak with a herringbone pattern for the veneer. I've set that aside for now uh, against the stairway to, so that I can finish up uh, this next project over here which I'm calling the, the Bible case. This is going to a seminary in Grand Rapids, Michigan, where they have a collection of uh, rather large historic Bibles, and they wanted a place to display them and store them at the same time. So the Bibles will be uh, held in these lower sections down here. Uh, section on the left, one in the middle, one on the right. I'm not sure if the lighting is picking that up very well. Um, this collection also has a series of uh, various writings uh, from theologians and that sort of thing. So these writings will be held inside these drawers. And when you pull the drawer out, the first thing I do is made a surface that you can just display things. So you can either take a Bible from down there and set it up here, or one of the writings, which is which will be held inside here. Now the inside's not finished yet. Uh, I'm going to finish the, fl the floor of the drawer and it'll be covered in red felt, and that should protect um, all the various writings that they've got that'll go in here. So again, uh, two drawers, one on the left, one on the right, and it operates the same way. Um, the top of this is made out of Sapelli veneer, banded in walnut, on top of a framework in uh, white oak with a gilded finish, the same, uh, structure on the bottom for for that piece these posts and the base are walnut and then the main framing of the case is mahogany so this is the bible case i'll take a better video of it uh, after it gets sent off and shipped shipped out later this month you get an idea of what that looks like the final part of this piece is a set of reading racks where i've adapted my music stand designs so um, these reading racks, uh, that, that part can come off. And um, I, I made two rotating bases on Lazy Susans. So each one of these, one here, the other one there, will sit on top of the Bible case there. Now in the, the more detailed part of it is that each one of these stands has a scripture passage. Um, this one is taken from Matthew chapter 5 better known as the Beatitudes. So it starts with, uh, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven, and then running through uh, verse 12. The other one is the passage from Exodus containing the Ten Commandments. So it starts off with uh, commandment one, and then finishing up with the Tenth Commandment. So these reading racks, um, they're still got a few more coats of finish to put on them. Uh, they will go on top of the Bible case, and that will uh, be sent off to Grand Rapids, Michigan, uh, later this month. Last thing I'm working on, uh, neighbors across the street moved out, and they had an old sewing table, so we picked it up. I was going to re-veneer it, but before you know it, it was just as efficient to take the whole thing apart. So we got the legs there, the drawers here, the panels here, so I'll refinish that, put it all back together, and see how that goes. So there we are. That's the barn shop uh, activity for this Thursday, August 4th.